right. Hello, how are you? And welcome back to the research agenda. We are looking specifically at women's studies. And I have here with me my dear friend, Audrey. I'm so glad Audrey is here. We welcome you from the beautiful, beautiful market pier. The, the dwarf? The wharf. The wharf. <laughs> Did I say dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> At um, the harbor, right? Yeah. In D.C. In D.C. It's so much fun. We just mm -hmm. ate something called pokey. Girls, tell them what pokey is. Pokey is it's Hawaiian, traditional Hawaiian. And it's um, basically, it's kind of, it's, it's raw meats over rice or salad and delicious, healthy things like scallions and Oh, seaweed and arugula, ginger and cucumber. So to me, it, I mean, it's it's an Asian, yes. it's an Asian like um, aesthetic, but it's um, it was delicious. It's, it's very healthy too. I was just yep. eating yum yum yum. It yum, was yum. yum yum. So without further ado, this is segment two of our uncoupling series. And for those of you who are following um, my channel, I want you to know that. The channel is about uh, looking at a literature review on women's studies. Uh, we're looking specifically at black and brown women. However, we are covering all women because it's all things female. So we're going to talk more about uncoupling. So Audrey and I were talking earlier, uncoupling has so many different aspects. Um, we're going to probably have about two more segments, but today's segment is going to center on uncoupling from a mindset or point of view perspective. So Audrey, tell us what you were saying earlier. Yeah. So for to me, uncoupling means letting go of um, trauma, letting go of attitudes, letting go of um, experiences that are shaping how you are approaching life today. So letting go of things from your past that are influencing how you um, treat relationships, um, from how you treat yourself, from um, you know, what's maybe hindering you professionally, romantically, or um, however have you. You know, just uncoupling to me means letting it go. You know, sometimes that's 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 about doing the work as we've mentioned in other episodes, doing the work to understand what your traumas are, what your trauma responses are, and actively seeking to, to let those go, to address them, to figure out new ways of reacting to or, or learning how not to react to certain, uh, certain triggers. And you know what, Audrey, I like, I like this point because I was reading, I'm reading this book, it's called, uh, conscious unconsciousness mm. Un no conscious uncoupling mm. and okay. the author talks about how it's important for us to take an inventory mm -hmm. of uh, this self-awareness piece that you talk about yes. doing the self work yeah. and uh, she she talks for example in terms of when, you, when you're ending a relationship mm -hmm. whether it's with a romantic relationship whether it's Friendship, whether whatever type of relationship it is, you look at. Uh, oftentimes, you know, we have a tendency to to easily see what the other person has done wrong, right. and so we can. Yeah, it's very easy. So, ninety seven percent of the wrong things that have happened, for example, could be on another person. Right. Even if that is the case, right. there's still three percent. Because who's the common denominator? Yes. You are. And that three exactly. percent, that three percent. <laughs> if you really mm -hmm. center in on that three percent, mm -hmm. it could be about you having more respect for yourself and right. making a decision yeah. that you're going it's to have self-respect. Yeah. It could be about you um, making a decision to be a better communicator, right. to listen more, right. because you right. have control over what you who you are who you and are. what you can do. You don't have control over anybody else. Right. So from every relationship, right. even when you uncouple, you and you even uncoupling from mindsets or habits, we learn something from 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 doing that. So it's really an interesting thing. Right. 
Right. Uh, and can I say that we're, this will not become a blame your parents conversation. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I really feel yes. that the average, decent, normal, intelligent mm -hmm. parents mm -hmm. did the best they could. Yes with what they knew in yes. the time that yes, they were I raising agree. us. So That's true. this is going to be about understanding yes. our, our, you know, those root causes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And by understanding them, mm -hmm. we are responsible for mm -hmm. doing the work to address them to, to be better people. Mm -hmm. right? That's true. Because, because we're evolving as people. We're evolving. Yeah. And, and truly, our parents did the best that they could do. Just right. like we did the right. best we could that do. That we could do for our children. Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. This was good, right? Join us for the next segment. I believe we're going to have about four segments. What say you? Thank you, Audrey. Awesome.